I feel amazing right now. Wait till you guys see how good the closet looks. Like, oh. Uh. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you happen to be new here, my name is Emily and I love to just inspire and motivate you and share DIYs, decorating, lifestyle, and mommy videos with you. And today's video is going to be a complete closet makeover. It is currently an awful lime green color and it is just filled with a lot of junk that we are not using. So I'm excited to make over this space clean and organize it and just KonMari the heck out of it, only keeping the things that spark joy and that we actually use. So I hope that you guys will find this inspiring and motivating to tackle an area of your house as well. So be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and make sure you stick around and watch the whole video because I will be doing a giveaway in this video. I don't want you to miss out on that. So let's go ahead and get started. And so the journey begins. You guys, if you are new to my channel, welcome. You guys may not know though that we are actually going to be moving this year to a completely new state. So I am on a mission to downsize our entire house. I have my work cut out for this room because it's hard for me to let go of certain things, but I hope that you guys will be motivated to tackle an area of your house as well. I started by removing everything from my husband's side first since that is the area that has the green wall. And let's face it, nobody's going to want to buy our house with this awful green color. So I love room makeovers, so I hope that you guys will enjoy seeing the process of this one. I'm also excited to tell you that today's video is in collaboration with Miss Amy Darley. She is so inspiring and motivating and such a sweetheart. She shares lots of cleaning, organizing, decluttering, mommy lifestyle, and decorating videos with you. She has two sweet little kids and you guys are just absolutely going to fall in love with her. She also will be organizing and decluttering her master closet today as well. So you guys are going to get double the motivation and she's actually done a few other areas in her house to just downsize and it's just so motivating and inspiring to watch those videos. So please go show her some love and tell her that I sent you and subscribe. I will have her video linked down in the description box below for you to go watch next. So while his side of the closet is drying, I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to start going through my side of the clothing. And I just started making two piles, one keep and one donate or sell pile. And I didn't realize like how much items I really wasn't enjoying anymore. And I'm the type of person where I will wear things till they have holes or just too many stains. I've had some of these items since high school. So it's a little crazy that I've held on to them that long, but if it ain't broke, why, why get rid of it, you know? So once I got everything out of my side of the closet, I realized that the white on the walls that I had had was different than the white that I was putting on the wall. Big mistake on my end, but that's okay. We removed the shelf and then I patched up the wall and I just decided to paint the entire closet white. I kind of wish I had a spray rig for this just because I could spray all the shelving that all my shoes was on. But I just went ahead and rolled everything and then I used the paintbrush in smaller crevices. I am so happy with the way it looks. I honestly, I just want to leave it like this, empty. I don't want to put anything in it. I think it's just awesome looking, but I have to be realistic. I need clothing to wear. So I started by going through all my accessories now. I have a, a lot of belts that I'm not wearing, so it's time to just purge those as well as my purses and my um, DIY clothes. I don't need all this stuff. It's just time to let go.
I do not wear a ton of different style of shoes. I wear a lot of boots in the winter, but I decided to get rid of all of these. No judging, some of these are from high school. It's just time to get rid of them. This is a donation pile, and then I have more clothing right here that I'll be donating. And then I got a couple random boxes and some trash bags in there, I'm not really sure why. And then I emptied a whole bin of purses. And I also emptied this three drawer system and I also got rid of a shoe rack. So I'm really proud of ourselves. These are all the hangers from just the clothing that I had on the floor. And it doesn't include all of the clothing I'm going to show you right here, which is actually going to be listed in my Poshmark. I will have that link down in the description box below, but I'm only going to hold on to these items for one week. After that, I'm just going to donate them. I don't want them in the house because they'll just creep their way back into my closet. So I'm going to say sayonara to them. They will get a new home regardless if somebody buys them or if I donate them. So I'm really happy with and proud of myself for how much I have gotten rid of. It just feels so good to let go of this stuff. I don't know. It just feels burning when you look at it and I just feel free now. <laughs> to show you guys what the closet looks like and I'm so excited to share this with you guys. I feel so good the fact that I've just purged everything and gotten rid of it and I cannot wait to tackle my dresser and the rest of the closets in the house. We are going to be moving here soon and I cannot wait to just get rid of as much as I can because that is that much less that I have to move and organize when we move to another house. So I'm super excited. Um, let me take you into the closet now. So now as you come into the closet this is what you see and you guys look how much has left. I'm so excited. It is empty now and I just so so happy. Look out the shelf that was right here which I'm really happy that we did. It just looks cleaner and then again it holds less junk. So over here we just have like our emergency supplies um, and backpacks. Um, this is my husband's side. He did really good. He got rid of quite a bit of stuff. Um, he doesn't have that much to begin with but I had this whole side over here was filled with my stuff and I got rid of it. So I'm really happy about that. And then I just have our wedding box down here with my wedding dress and a couple other things and then a couple keepsake things down there and then this area is pretty much empty we got rid of the shoe rack that was there and then over here just has some ammo in it and then my husband's guitar stuff so remember I had that three drawer system that is now gone no longer there and then down here I just have all of my regular t-shirts that I wear and then I have a couple pairs of shorts and then a couple skirts that I do wear and then up here I have my sweaters which I do need to remove this label but that will be um, so I got sweaters in here I have all of my lingerie in here now and then moving up here to the very top I have all of my two jackets a couple cardigans and then I have all of my long sleeves kind of categorized into different colors and then I have a couple pairs of pants and jumpsuits and then I go into all of my summer dresses right here and then I have my church dresses I have a couple of date night dresses and then I have my two jackets here there's a snow pants and then I have some formal dresses right there I know I have two different types of hangers but it really doesn't bother me that much um, I like things to slip off certain hangers and other things to be on there. I really like how there's actually room between the hangers now and then up here I just have some seasonal boots that I wear on occasion and then the rest of the area is empty. Now here for the shoe area, I really like the way this turned out. I actually removed two of the shelves in here. So then as you come up to this area up here, um, in these clear bins, I have my swimsuits in this one. I have some shoe liners in here. I have slips in here, and then I have my belts in here. And I like this because then everything is just accessible and clean, and it's really uniform. And then in here, I actually got these from Walmart. And these are just where my uh, work clothing is and everything. And then up here is where I put all of my husband's hats. 
and stuff in there. Um, I thought that would be perfect for him. And then this is all of the purses I kept. guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that this has given you the motivation to tackle an area of your house and to help you with that to give you a little more extra motivation I will be doing a $50 Walmart gift card giveaway for one of you it will only run for 48 hours from today at the start of the video till tomorrow so 48 hours only is how long it will run it's super simple to enter you leave a comment be subscribed like this video and then make sure you go watch Amy's video as well and comment in hers because she's actually going to be doing a giveaway as well and I don't want you guys to miss out on that either but I will also have a link in the description box below to enter the giveaway itself that way everything is done fairly and then a winner is picked at random um, from the Glean website so I just want to say thank you again to all of you for subscribing and watching my channel it means the world to me and I hope that I can just continue to uplift you and motivate you and inspire you through DIYs decorating organization cleaning and mommy lifestyle videos I hope you guys have an amazing day thank you again so much for watching and I I will see you guys in the next one.